My name is Shane. I wanted to take you through a quick tour of Sales Envy, which is a sales acceleration, predictive dialing, and um, automation platform for Skype. Uh, at least one of the integrations we do is Skype. So a lot of times we come across people who have taken advantage of Skype's monthly, uh, very low monthly rates for VoIP um, subscriptions nationwide, US and Canada at least to where I am, $2.99 a month. And they want to push a little bit further, take advantage of the cheap VoIP service, yet have a robust system around it where they can actually do much more. So what Sales Envy does is it, as you can tell over here, ties into Skype and your Skype account with your monthly subscription through their authorized integration um, APIs. And then ultimately what you're able to do is add, create campaigns, uh, you know, like you can see here, I have different dates of campaigns of people I've loaded in through uploads, through CSV uploads from lists you're working on. And then obviously these people will be loaded in. And from there, uh, you can basically start uh, doing a campaign, an outreach campaign. I'll show you a few of the features, but really what um, where we can go from here is uh, being able to reach out through phone, reach out through email, set, um, meetings on the fly and I'll show you that. See records of what's going on, activity, how much has happened, send templated emails, view a script. If I want to see a script I can customize as many as I'd like. Record calls, play automated messages such as voicemails so I can pre-record voicemails in the system and then just press play. I can even say the first half of what I want to say is a customized voicemail and then play the rest. Um, setting up meetings, I'll show you how that's done but Take example here, um, if I were to call this contact, which is Kelly Fake, you can see I've actually worked this list before. I called her on 624, and um, I have a callback date for you know a couple days later. But if I were to call her, since I've tied this into my, it's a connected to my Skype account, all I do from this platform is press call. And then you can see from my Skype account here, that I'm now dialing Kelly. So once I'm dialing that, you can see I'm not spending any time in the process. I'm going to end that right real quick so it doesn't go through. But suppose I get through to a option to you know select a company directory. So I would click the dial pad. I'd select one for company directory. One other feature Sales Envy offers is being able to direct dial from directory. So a lot of times they'll say enter your party's name, first name, or last name. Um, all I have to do, since I have that information right here, first name, last name, all I have to do is press first or last, and they'll dial those names. So I don't have to do any of the figuring out of dials and and taking more time. We want to make efficient your time while using this. So um, I can do that. Obviously, it's recorded how long that's been. I can actually press auto dial so that you know as soon as I'm done, as soon as I hang up with this call. It'll just auto dial the next and the next and the next um, as I'm going through that. So a cadence of once I'm done with this call, complete, move on to the next. Uh, or I can just press next if I want to do this one by one. End and hold. These are different functions for the call itself. Again, I've loaded scripts in here. So once I do get her on the phone, I can just say, okay, well, let's actually use this script right here. Uh, obviously, I've tied dynamic elements, so it actually populates her name her industry, if that's what I'm doing, um, even, you know, for instance, this is her company, her role, different aspects. I can create notes here while I'm in that template for a script, and I can be succinct in what I'm saying. And then uh, I can also record the call. So if, if any time I want to see quality assurance, I want to repeat, I want to hold them accountable or myself, I could just click record call. And uh, that will actually save as a file within the system. You can re replay back to yourself and, and download as well. Suppose I get them on a voicemail. So from a voicemail stance, please leave a message. I would actually just choose one of the many messages I've loaded in here. You can load as many as you'd like. And then I just press play. And I press play. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll say a first name. So hi, Kelly. This is Shane. Or just hi, Kelly. And then I'll just start the message, which is obvious at that point. Um, all cookie cutter <laughs> for the most part. So I don't have to say anything further from there. The call will hang up once that message is done. In the meantime, let's suppose I do get on with Kelly. 
Um, and she says, yeah, let's have a meeting. I can click this button and I can choose from different meeting templates I have. So my first meeting, my second meeting, in initial overview, whatever it is, I can actually pre-populate that. It'll tie in her name. I can also CC other people. Here's a title. I would change the start date. So let's choose a different day. Let's choose a different time. Um, but what I'm doing there is, and then the duration, right? So that's pre-populated. And here's my pre-populated notes for this meeting. All I have to do is save this. And if I do, it'll send over her an invite. It'll put it on my calendar. And, um, and what, you can tie it in with Google Calendar. That's by default. Um, Google's uh, our apps is our main integration partner on this. You can also do um, other Outlook integrations as well. But um, let's suppose I don't get her and I leave a voicemail. Um, I could do the quick outcome. So the outcomes are available, so I don't have to dial notes, or type in notes every time. I can just say outcome is you know, wrong number or I left a voicemail. So that's the outcome. There's a record of that. It's tied in here. I can see all the different historical notes I've left or the voicemails I've left, the emails I've sent to them. Kind of like a CRM. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a second. But then from here, I can also then email Kelly. So let's just say I want to say, okay, well, I missed her on here. I'm going to actually send an after voicemail email. I'm going to BC a couple people or CC a couple people. There's my title. There's my uh, uh, templates come up. It's got dynamic tags, so it'll tie in their name and company. And let's back, let's preview it. Kelly, I tried calling you earlier. Senior Director of HR and Perva. So I'm going through there, and, and I can just send that and move on. Uh, don't want to take any time. Don't want to. What we want to do is get through many contacts and set up a call and email uh, process. And then even you know, for this point, I can say, hey, let's do a callback for this date. Or this day that you know this date let's just do the June 16th so um, you can see that there actually we're in July so let's do July 30th so now you can see that went from a grayed out which means that's due or past due to blue which is call back on the 30th uh, again no, no more from there if she says hey take me off your list we already work with someone don't want to hear from you again I can just put click remove and it takes her out of the campaign um, suppose she says, "Let's, you know, I'm interested. We're going to get to the next step. I have, I can create a pipeline, which basically allows me to say, okay, well, which what, there's a multiple pipeline, so I could say, okay, let's get her in the process now. She's no longer just a prospect. She can, um, uh, we can work with her from there. So I can click which stage she's in to get a meeting, schedule a demo, approval, and basically move her over there, which is uh, more advanced CRM around." Win loss <clears throat> around um, what your pipeline is, what the amounts are, and we can tie that in through here. And you can visually see that too. Uh, for the most part, that's how Sales Envy operates. Uh, you can see I can actually, if I if any point I want to pick up a campaign where I left off, I can filter contacts, I can sort by keyword, uh, when the callback is due, what their location is. Obviously, this shows me where they are. They're in California based on the number. Um, last name, company, when the callback is, any that are overdue, it'll put those on the top. Um, if I want to find a contact here among any of my campaigns, or if at any point while I'm scheduling something, I want to see my calendar, it'll just pull up my calendar right here within the app. You've seen I've done all these functions without leaving the system, and that's important. Uh, we want to make it easy. We want to make it easy to manage and to not have to leave there. And all of the best is we're tied into Skype. So you don't have to pay more than three dollars a month for VoIP services and it's unlimited. So this is where you'd set up your campaigns, your pipelines, your create your templates. You can also see history of you know what your records, your, your track records are. So for a campaign, again I can sort by campaign, by date range. I can see how many calls were made, what the total duration is, how many emails were sent, how many voice messages were left. I can see all those reports, I can even export them. Um, makes it extremely easy uh, to to kind of see where we go from there. And then obviously, um, this is where you put your general settings. And uh, and that's pretty much it. You know, from that point on, I mean, CRM settings, I can tie it into other CRMs through here or to Google and set up my signature. Um, I can see my billing details and add team members to the account, uh, as many as you'd like. I can also see, you know, what 
Skype settings I have, which conversations I've had, I can listen to those, I can play those back. Um, I can set my call outcomes, I can create voicemails and record and play those here, make sure my connection with Skype is good. Um, all this is done through the system for you, very low cost. If it's a single user, $30 a month. If you have multiples for your team, it can get less, less than $15 to $18 a month per user. Um, so let me know if you want to talk. I'm happy to show it to you in a little bit more in depth. And this is Sales Envy.